Hello and welcome. Today I will be reviewing The Conversation from 1974. Now this was written and directed by Francis Ford Coppola. And the premise is that a surveillance expert has been assigned a case in which he has to spy on an unknown couple. Right, I hope I piqued your interest. I was very interested myself. Now Gene Hackman, uh, a great and um, long-serving actor, he plays the lead character and he, he does a brilliant job of encompassing this, this troubled, um, closed-off man um, that's really um, uh, keen on his job. Um, and it sort of it takes over his life. You, you, you get moments of that throughout the film and it, and it really paints a picture of what his life is like. And not necessarily, what, well, yes, what people think of him, not all the characters, but... You, you really delve into his psyche. Like Gene Hackman, he becomes this, this, this man. Um, you, 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 you could see his life um, panning out like this and, and you could see it, really see how it affects his motivations in the film. Now his mental health is really on show here um, and it's really unique for a film from 1974. Now, nowadays, um, that is more portrayed in movies, but to have this character study from 1974 and it be so relevant today is a testament to Francis Ford Coppola's writing and, and the acting on show. Now, his, um, Gene Hackman's character's behaviour is, is, is worrying from the start. You, you're questioning things, you, you're questioning people's motives. What characters are good? What characters are out to get other characters? Um, so it's very a matter of um, questioning things and, and, and really watching um, to see how things plan out and, and the little things that happen on screen. Now, you're drawn to these random characters that you see in a square. And you're questioning um, what they mean, who they are, what, what, what part do they play, and are they in danger? Of course, Gene Hackman's character asks himself that as well. Now, there are, there, of course, there are some lighter hearted moments, I must say. Um, and that really, that's really effective because without those, you know, as an audience, you would be watching and you'd be quite um, alarmed and quite, um, it's quite depressing somewhat. Um, so those moments of, of, of comedy or, or to put a smile on one's face, they, they were needed um, and welcomed, certainly. Yeah, again, because this film is not action packed at all um, or necessarily dialogue heavy. It does everything through Gene Hackman's behaviour and how other people perceive him and, and what he physically does. Um, and how he spends his time. Yet yeah, not many characters are likeable, um, and, you, and you always question them. Like I said, are they good? Are they bad? Um, it's, it's a character study, for sure. Now, Francis Ford Coppola creates genuine moments um, and paints his average day in the life of people, which I really find um, brilliant um, and different um, from this glossy... Um, painted over, uh, you know, flashy films that we tend to get. Um, yeah, he chose to include layers to the character that, 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 that give it more depth and we can really delve into his psyche a bit more. The cinematography uh, paints a picture of of the surroundings of wherever the film is shot, wherever the scenes are, whether it's outside or in, an, or in, in, you know, a spacious, dark building or room. I really appreciate his take on a secluded person who's a very much an introvert, who's still career driven, albeit a niche career. And, and, and he does that in a very intrusive and awkward way. Um, I must say that the, the film was a joy to watch. I really took something away from this film. By the end, I was satisfied with, with what I had seen, paired with some great sound effects. I must say that was, that's, that's a point in the film, points in the film where the sound effects are really like, really 
really show and they really stand out. You feel something every time a sound or music is is played. You react. You react physically and emotionally. Um, sometimes it's eerie. It's spooky. The suspicion runs through uh, the film really well. But I say all of that to say it's absorbing. Now, it's a great film. A great film, great acting, um, great writing, great cinematography. There's a, a lot to be said about this film and I really enjoyed it. Take a look and tell me what you thought. Thank you.